Are you looking for this? <laughs> Just dropped by. I, uh, I wondered if you made any decision about the wallpaper. This is your lucky day. I got some furniture that was just made for this place. An unknown lady friend sent it to me. It's a shame. It fits beautifully. Nice leopard skin couch, red velvet chairs, glass tables. I don't want to keep anything that don't rightly belong to me. Just send your truck over for it. And... I got a truck. Let's see. It'll take about four trips at $6 a trip, plus storage charges. I'll just take a second. I just want to give you your $4.18 royalty for the sale of one dozen polka dot shorts as featured on your undressing show last night. <laughs> Mr. Douglas, now, when you go on the air tonight, after the rating you got? <laughs> rating? The Hooterville Overnight Nielsen. Just listen to this. Number one, man undressing show. <laughs> Number two, man doing barnyard imitation. Number three, Beverly Hillbillies. Now that's tied with the WPIXL test pattern. Uh, Mr. Douglas, let me be the first to congratulate you on your wedding anniversary. It was on Coop Dingle's radio show this morning. I guess old Coop made another lucky guess. How many years of Canubian bliss are you celebrating? Uh, I don't know. Just then, my wife turned on her diathermy machine and uh, near static out two tubes. <laughs> Business? Do you think I'd stoop to sordid commercialism on this happy occasion? <laughs> well, you're wrong. I brought you a wedding anniversary present. There you are, with my compliments, free and clear. A genuine South American rubber plant. You don't have a pot to put it in? <laughs> you know how to hit a man below the belt. If you think I come here for that purpose, you can have the pot and happy anniversary. <laughs> well, while you're getting a correct change, I would like to recite a little poem I composed for anniversaries. Copies of which can be purchased from the author for 25 cents. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Anniversaries come but once a year, bringing joy and good cheer. Some are sad, some are funny. First, we've got to unify Republicans in the Senate. I, I hope we're going to do that this week.